Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to make a mocha chiffon cake. This recipe is the culmination of the different versions I tried online and it's always a hit. The cake itself is very light and the mocha buttercream frosting smells gorgeously delicious. I always get compliments on how seriously delicious this cake is. So let's begin! Okay guys, for the cake, we're going to need 1 cup of plain flour, 20 grams of cocoa powder, 2 and a half tablespoon of instant coffee granules, half a cup of milk, half a cup of cooking oil. In this recipe, I use sunflower oil, but you can use any other cooking oil. 180 grams of powdered sugar, but you can use caster sugar as well. 8 egg yolks and 8 egg whites. 1 teaspoon of cream of tartar. 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. For the mocha frosting, we need 4 egg whites, 1 cup of powdered sugar, but you can use caster sugar or granulated sugar as well as alternative. 400 grams of butter at room temperature cubed. 1 teaspoon of instant coffee granules, 1 teaspoon of cocoa powder, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract, 4 teaspoons of water. The first step is to make the meringue. So pour all the egg whites into the stand mixer bowl. You can use a handheld mixer too, but this step takes a long time. So using a stand mixer is a huge help. Once the egg white starts frothing, add the cream of tartar and half of the powdered sugar. Remember to use your spatula to clear the sides of the bowl to ensure everything is equally mixed in. Continue to whisk until it reaches the stiff peak stage. A good way to test if the meringue is ready is to flip, it, flip the bowl outside down. You'll know it's ready if the meringue doesn't spill or doesn't slide out of the bowl. In a separate bowl, mix the egg yolks and the remaining half of the powdered sugar. You can use either a handheld mixer or a whisk for this stage. After about a minute or so of mixing, the egg yolk will start to look paler in color. Once you reach this stage, add the oil and mix again until it's well incorporated. Next, dissolve the instant coffee granules in the milk. Make sure that the milk is at room temperature so the coffee granules dissolves easily. Pour in the milky coffee into the egg yolk mixture. Continue mixing. The next step is to sieve in the flour into the egg yolk mixture. Sieve in the cocoa powder next.
fold in the flour and the cocoa powder until everything is well incorporated. And then lastly, add the vanilla into the batter. Gradually add in the meringue into the batter. Do it gently to preserve the air bubbles. Continue to fold in the meringue until you reach a uniform mixture. Once you reach a uniform mixture, pour the batter equally into two 8-inch round cake tins lined with parchment paper. Gently give the cake tins a tap to release any air bubbles. Bake in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. While the cake is baking, make the mocha frosting. Simmer water in a small pot. Place a heat-proof bowl on top of the pan. Make sure that the bowl is not touching the water. Put egg whites and sugar on the bowl and whisk until the sugar granules have dissolved. Once ready, transfer the egg white mixture into a stand mixer. Whisk it until it reaches the stiff peak stage. After 20 minutes, the cakes should be baked by now. Take them out of the oven and let them cool upside down to avoid the center from collapsing. Continue whipping the egg, then start gradually adding the butter until it's light and fluffy. After this, you may want to change the whisk attachment with a paddle. Dissolve the coffee, cocoa powder, and vanilla with 3 tablespoons of water. Gradually pour in the dissolved mixture into the icing. Don't forget to use a spatula to clear the sides of the bowl and make sure everything is well mixed. Continue whipping until you've reached the desired consistency of your buttercream frosting. The next step is to make the ganache. For this, you will need a third cup of double cream and half a cup of dark chocolate. I like to use at least 70% cocoa for my dark chocolate. 
Once it starts bubbling, pour it over the chocolate and mix until dissolved. Remove the cakes from the cake tins. You can use a knife to separate the cake from the side of the tins. Now it's time to assemble the cake. Put the first cake on your cake stand. Put a layer of mocha filling on top of the first cake. Spread the mocha frosting evenly and then put the second cake on top to make a two-layered cake. And then cover the top and side of the cake with your mocha buttercream frosting. Pipe the chocolate ganache in circular motions to cover the top of the cake. Let it flow down the sides for added decoration. Then use a palette knife to spread the chocolate ganache on top of the cake. Form rosettes with the remaining mocha frosting along the circumference of the cake. And then finish off with Maltesers on top of its rosettes. There you have it, your very own mocha chiffon cake. I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.